Hey everyone, Paul here again with another vlog. I'm back out in Port Phillip Bay in my kayak and this is the first morning that I get to test out my new Lowrance Elite 2 Ti Sounder with a 3-in-1 active imaging transducer. What better place to test it out than at my one of my favourite places, the Poles in Port Phillip Bay. There's a lot of structure, there's a good variety of species here. I can catch trevally, pinky snapper, brim, as well as flathead and pike. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope, hope I get a few fish this morning and most importantly, get to test out the sounder and show you guys some of the returns and the ease of use on the new Lawrence Elite 2 Ti. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys in a bit. Cheers. Okay. False start, first time around. So I got hung up on one of these pylons and could not get my Z-Man back. So what I'm gonna do is quickly switch over to a Berkeley Camo Turtle Whack Worm with the one sixth of an ounce jig head. I'm running it on eight pound liter this morning. And we're good to go. Just give it a quick flick while we're here between these poles. And then we'll work our way out. We've got a big cruise ship, the Carnival Legend, docked this morning. Port Melbourne, which looks pretty cool. Got a lot of bait coming through underneath me at the moment on the down imaging and the sonar. I'm moving very slowly, barely drifting at all. That's why the image is a bit washed out. If you guys are looking at the screen, you do have to be moving a little bit to get a clearer image. As soon as we start to move off, that image really clears up and you get your perfect target separation. Oh, yep, we're on. Oh, oh. oh, thank God, it was just a little guy. <laughs> All right, well, second cast of the morning. First real cast and first fish. Perfect. I was just about finished with my retrieve and this guy whacked it. Morning. Oh, there's another worm gone. Switch back. To the turtle back. Don't like losing worms for no reason. All I do with these turtle backs is just take that first link off. It's about a centimetre. Just shorten it up a little bit. There we go back in action. A few mozzies around this morning, causing me some grief, but it's a bit unusual out here at the pier. All right, got a good feeling about this area. Oh, that was a bump very quickly. that in, put another one out, into this next hole. Now I'm running 16 pound braid on this from memory and 8 pound leader. This is the Miller Rods XF long cast and at 2500 LT diver exist. Yep. Oh we're on. Get him out. Alright we're out of the structure. Little fella, very little guy. But there's plenty of them down there, and a whole mix of classes and sizes, so that's why you have to be straight onto them. If it looks like I'm just ripping their heads off, 
it's because I've been busted off in in this area more times than I can count. <laughs> so it's important to turn their heads quickly and then once they're out in the open you can back the drag off, especially if it's a good fish. <laughs> you guys saw that. Almost got ripped out of my hand. All right, giving you guys a quick clean. I can see a few fish on the side imaging in these poles. Just shorten that plastic size by about two centimeters instead of one. Give them a little bit less to grab onto. And hopefully, yep, there we go, we're in. Oh, that's a better fish too. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Busted off. I saw him in there, in the poles. Big white dot, cast straight in. And there's the result, unfortunately. Use a green, got some green ones in here as well. Use them up. A lot of times the pinkies won't care, so I'll give it a bigger snip, like what we did last time. This will still be a nice silhouette in this murky water, the green instead of the camo. And they don't seem too fussy this morning. Back in action. Let's go back and get him. I think we're somewhere over there. Somewhere over here. Let's just try this again. Past. That fish just went sideways right away on me. There's nothing I can do to pull him out quickly enough. Turn his head out of those poles. Yep, we're on again. He's out. spiky little creatures. Okay, oh, there's a legal sized fish. But I'm not keeping any today. That plastic's just wedged in his gob. See you, buddy. Making my way over to another part of Port Phillip Bay. It's not too far from where I was. I'm probably 15, 20 minute pedal one way. But what I'm gonna try and do is get under some of these jetties and really start to focus and target on the target rim. Get a bit sick of catching all those little pinkies, missing those bites, just due to the size of the fish. So I'm looking forward throwing a few cranker crabs around, strike pro micro vibes, as well as testing out that new exist. I've used the little one already, but this 2500, I haven't caught a fish on yet, so I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get onto a few and close out this video uh, with a bit of variety. All right, I'll keep pedaling. As we come in, just keeping an eye out for any fish on the edges of the poles. Yep, I see one already. I'm gonna put a micro vibe on. 
Let's see if I can get a fish to eat that instead. I can already see one, which is great. Sorry for the view, guys. Oh, there's a couple. Running full pound leader on the micro vibe. Oh, there's a couple of good fish actually. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> I can see a couple of fish down there. This is awesome. Just gotta get them to eat. But to start. Start is finding a couple. There's another one looking at us. He's facing us. There they've gone for it. There's two down there. Yep. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, that was short and sweet. Actually, there's nothing sweet about that. Okay. <sighs> I saw, as soon as I stood up, there's a whole bunch of fish <sighs> through this area. So what I'm gonna do, I've got another rod with six pound. Just gonna grab that. Put a micro vibe on the six pound instead of the four. Put this little rod away. He just went around the pole and there's nothing I could do. There we go, old school baby vibe. Purple baby vibe. From river to sea. back in I've just retied got busted off in the micro vibe but I'm gonna try the little river to sea baby vibe 35 and I've just upgraded my leader size picked up another rod with my one of my new exists and this is six pound uni take a leader as I had four pound previously I just had no control about that around that fish or with that previous fish rather if I can uh, speak English fish there. Yep, yep, we're on. Yep, first cast back. Come here. No, come here, mate. There we go. First cast, just in that corner, up against that pylon. We might just uh, get out into the sun. I can show you guys this fish properly. Let's take a couple of quick photos. There he is. Good size brim. Scrap well and tight cover. There's the baby vibe. Right there. Good stuff. Get get a couple of photos and put him back. Coming in again. Just adjusted my drag. Got my net at the ready. Tighten that up a smidge. Maybe even a smidge more. Yep.
tangled me. When I cast out blindly like that, what I'm looking for is for the line on top of the water to stop moving. And that to me is an indication of a bite. So when the braid stops moving, it means that a fish has grabbed it and it's sitting, sitting with it in its mouth. That's a good time for me to check and try and strike and set the hook. Everyone's got a different way of fishing these, but that's the way that I, I look at them. I think there's a fish right there. Ah, I think that was a fish. Yep, yep, it was. <laughs> there's one behind him too. Guy. Go. He was just sitting up high. I saw a little splash from him. Cast in. My line stopped right away. He missed it. Okay, back for another go. There's fish up there. Oh, there's a big one up there. There's two big ones up there. Fight that hard. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. Unless that was a pinky underneath, but I'm pretty sure what I was looking at on top with brim. And then this guy just out of nowhere. Sorry guys for the knee shot. the pink going back in that's a good fish it's my best one for the morning on arguably brim gear oh wow what a fight All right. unfortunately i lost that last uh river to sea baby vibe in gold what i did have is another rod rigged up with a little sx40 it's a little suspending hard body now i just wanted to try this out it's on four pounds, it's probably a touch light, but just wanted to do something different. Yep, little guy on the hard body. Just saw him come up and he whacked it. Far bigger ones in there than him. But it's a start. Just for something different. I can see fish under this barge as well. That's okay. Oh, sorry guys. That was uh made a cast. I didn't think anything of it. And this guy whacked it on the paws. Just behind this pole. Yeah. <laughs> of course I got it hung up. There's some fish just coming off that. Yep. There they are. Look at that giant. He's swimming around. looking at us. There he is. It's a 
big brim. That's a kilo fish. Coming in for one last go before we head off. Back to the first jetty that I started on. The tide's going out. So I think that's probably why the action slowed down. I'm not seeing as many fish as I was earlier. On the rising tide. One, there's two. There's a couple of big ones in that corner. Oh, they all spooked. How do they all spook? Oh man, that was a good cast. Had a bit of weed on it, but shouldn't have spooked them that hard. home hope you guys enjoyed today's episode quick recap started off fishing the structure for pinkies ended up with probably i don't know 20 25 but only the, the biggest was only uh, 800 grams out in the big long pier that i fished there in the open one and then i made a move over to the other side um, northern part of port phillip bay got under one of the jetties and had a ball sight casting to brim i only landed uh, five brim for the morning but I had a great time anyway as well as that really big pinky on a river to sea baby vibe the purple one I don't know how I landed that fish in tight structure but anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you next time cheers